welcome back to uh, Unbound Tap. Uh, today we're here. Happy holidays, everybody. Holiday season. You know, we're in December. Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Christmas, all of it. Benam Dinesh. Benam Dinesh. We're here. Um, so these here are, you know, readily available gift packs that we had at the LCBO or the beer store in yes. Ontario. And these are picks for, you know, you want to give a gift to a beer lover in your family. So this one sh will probably be readily available in a lot of places. This one probably readily available in Ontario. This one probably ready, readily available across Canada. I would say, I would say so. Before we jump in, this guy right here was from the beer store. These two were from the LCBO in Ontario. And we're gonna jump in, we're gonna talk about the price, what we think is the best value yeah. for uh, people like being in your life. So let's jump right in and uh, happy holidays, let's jump in. Sounds good. Oh. All right, gift pack number one, we have a Sapporo kit. Um, so we got in this guy, we got one glass and then four 500 milliliter bottle? Yeah, or four tall boys. Cans, four tall boys. And this guy was 15.95 for this at the LCB. That's Canadian too, so. Canadian, uh, we'll put that on the screen. I'll now, try and open it in the meantime here. We had a lot of options. For gift packs, there's there's more than the three that we just chose. These are just the three that kind of stood out to us. A lot of options, right? But I can't. I I'm a I'm a university student. I can't afford you know six, seven, twelve gift packs, right? So chose the uh, three that caught our eye. I'll admit, it's a nice opening experience. Yeah. If you've ever had a build a bear, where you kind of just keep opening things. I like the handles. They pop open. You know. So. I mean, we're not gonna take the beers out because you've seen the beers. But I mean, the whole thing wants to come out to me right now, so we'll just take that out. So, this is the glass that it comes with. Wow, what a mess! How am I supposed to re-gift this? How did they even put this in? There you go. Here's the glass. Let's let's put this to the side. Put that to the side. That's now, a nice glass. Now, here's the thing about this glass. So I I got one of these last year, actually, the same pack. It's really cool. It's got the dragon and shit on it, right? Sapporo's a good beer. It's a good Japanese beer. But that that lid, you see that like the top rim, it just is just perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's it perfect. It's got some uh, support Japanese? Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. Japanese. It's got some Japanese writing on the side there. The rim, you know, rim for it's, pleasure. It's, it's it's they have a bigger can and it feels just like that. Yeah, it's got, like, the yeah, the larger uh, aluminum can. Um, now, a gift pack, you're thinking, I'm like, who do I get it? Why, why do I get someone a beer gift pack? You know, it's like, oh, I got 20 bucks left to spend. You know, I don't know what to get them. Mm -hmm. They're a guy, they like beer. Beer gift pack, right? It's, it's so wrong. You know, Secret Santa, let's say you have a $25 limit, $20 limit. Perfect. This is something that you can pick Absolutely. up. I mean, you got beer, you know. If the, the thing is, you got to tailor to what beers they like. Yeah. And if they like Sapporo, I mean, this is a sick glass. This is a glass that... You know you're gonna use yeah i mean i'm not a big fan of sapporo but I, I love the glass love it the thing is the value i don't think the value is there no now four cans what's sapporo 280 a can canadian three maybe it's not that bad yeah it's let's like let's say the four beers are worth ten dollars canadian and then that glass we're saying is worth six dollars i guess that's not bad yeah that's all right I mean, but a lot of a lot of these gift packs that i've seen it's kind of like you buy the beers you get the gift free which i like yeah. it's kind of like hey you already paid this for a pack, but you also get a little Christmas bonus. This doesn't feel like a Christmas bonus. It feels like I'm paying for the glass. But I, if you like Sapporo, I think it's a good deal. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a nice box, right? Like uh, compared to the other boxes, to me, it really pops. It's got a nice handle. Yeah, yeah. it's a quick, easy gift. Let's, uh, you ready to move on? Yeah, let's yeah. go on to number right, two. Go. We're gonna jump in uh, the Steamless next. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so this is our second gift pack here. This is a uh, beer that's brewed in Toronto, Ontario. So. Uh, this might not be in your local uh, liquor store, but uh, down here in Ontario, this is what's this is what's going on. Down, yeah, down in Ontario, you'll definitely find this. Um, so this guy was from the beer store. Uh, so the last one we had was fifteen ninety five, and you got one glass and then four beers. This comes with four glasses and six beers, so Amazing a six value. pack, which I think is. A, this one I think steals it for the value. And this was nineteen ninety five. That's crazy. Um, That's insane. Which is ridiculous because six six steam whistle in Canada in Ontario. I don't know about the rest of Canada. It's like Twelve bucks, isn't it? No, it's like sixteen. It's sixteen. It's about sixteen dollars. So you're literally looking at a dollar fifty. Maybe the small pack. Maybe the yeah, small pack. Small pack's like ten bucks. Yeah. So th these are tall boys too, which is yeah. pretty ridiculous. Six so tall boys. It's crazy. Four right? glasses. And so this this guy right here, we're not gonna open it up just because I already have the glass handy. 
This is the glass that it comes with. It comes with four of these. Nice glass. And it reminds we, me of like a Stella. It is. It is like a very royal glass. It's almost nicer than a Stella glass, I would say. Yeah. It's just very, you know, it's very nice. And we, because we went to the Stella tour across the street here, and this one's steam whistle tour. Stella tour. Wow. Stella tour. Stella tour. Stella the Steam whistle tour. Okay. And uh, and yeah, this was ten dollars this glass. And we got 20% yeah. off because of the tour, so it was $8. That's so you're really getting these. Deal. Now, the thing is, if you really want to be frugal, what you literally could do, you could turn this into many gifts, right? Yeah. The last pack we were saying, you know, you have 20 bucks, you pick it up, you give it to someone. This, you could literally- Glass and a beer. Glass, beer, glass, beer, glass, beer, and you still have two beers left to get hammered by yourself. And I think the really cool thing about this, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't only come with one beer, it comes with their, uh, their pills in it yeah. too. So you get a little bit of variety in there, right? So you, you get the pale ale, you get yeah. the Pilsner, and it's like, hey, taste our new beer. Also, here's four glasses. And these are really nice glasses. Like um, the actual, we've all had those cheap free glasses. Yeah. This is something nice. I haven't put this in the dishwasher yet, but just by the feel of it, I feel like it would be oh, good. That's a, that's a hand wash only. I wouldn't, yeah. I yeah. wouldn't put it in the dishwasher, but you probably could. And it's really nice. And you get four glasses. I mean, you know. That's a blow dryer. Yeah, honestly, you probably want to do that. Yeah. Have a nice, nice hot blow. But on, on, in terms of, so twenty dollars, you get four glasses, you get six beers, and you get to support an independent brewery, right? Yeah. Shout out Toronto. Shout out Steam Muscle. Way to do it. I don't know. They must be losing money on this in terms of their other beers, but either that or the other guys are just marking up. Major, definitely, definitely time mark up. And yeah, these are twenty ounce glasses as well, so. We're going to go into number three. All right, so we got number three here. Look what's in the fridge. Molson's in the fridge. Molson is, is on fridge. ice. So um, this is our third gift pack here. It, uh, as you can see, you get uh, four Molson Canadian beers. Uh, okay beer, you know, not my personal favorite, but when it's on tap, it's on tap, right? So um, it is uh, like you can, uh, this is a, like a hockey Canada sponsored thing. Yeah, so um, you're supporting the hockey team, right? You're supporting the hockey. I mean, guys who like hockey, you'll drink your Molsons, right? Yeah, I'll drink some Molson. It's my favorite beer. No, I'll have it. As you said, on draft. Yeah, I'm gonna have it. And this is a nice little, you know, skate, skate boot. This is the else. kind of beer that you go in on Thursday night. You're like, oh yeah, like I want a fancy beer, but this is on for four dollars a pint. So you're gonna have it. You're, you're not, gonna have it. Yeah, you're not getting the eight dollar beer. You're getting the four dollar beer. That's why. That's why you're there. And you got so you're getting four. You're getting four stubbies, and this thirty two ounce glass, right? Thirty two oh. ounce boot. Actually, it's a skate, but it's. I, I prefer to call I'm pretty it sure boot. it's cut off at the bottom. I think it's actually they're kind of they're kind of lying to us a little bit with that. But this is eleven ninety five, which Pretty I think is deal. not bad in terms of. Here's the thing, this one in Sapporo, you get a little less beer for this, but you, you, it's a lot cheaper. And I, like, I like the boot, the boot's cooler, it's more special. Yeah, here's, here's the thing, go on Amazon right now, not, I'm not saying literally, but go on Amazon right now, look up 32 ounce glass boot. I bet it's gonna be around 10 bucks, right? So, and probably, you're getting four beers, probably. Right? And you're getting the presentation of this box, right? Yeah. So Let's bust out the glasses. Right. Oh, pop straight wow, out. Look oh, at that. it's got Molson on the other side. That's cool. Yep. So, turns on the picture here. It only it's got the uh, just the Canada like Canada hockey logo yeah. on it. So I mean, I don't know about you, but if I'm drinking this, I'm I'm happy. Guy. That doesn't look like 32 ounces, though, does it? No, it doesn't. You know what? Why though? It this is actually liquid. Too. I was wrong. Yeah. I take that back. I thought it was cut off at the no. skates. No, it goes down into the skates. That's why it looks so small. If you look at just the boot, it looks like. A pretty small glass. Yeah. You get that. Uh, I kind of like that though. Yeah. It's kind of small. It doesn't look that much bigger than a pint glass. No, I wish it, my whole. Yeah, it's kind of small. Yeah. Little handle, right? Can't fit my uh, my hands in there, right? You know, so that's that's well, that is, it. Is. is it good weight to it? Oh yeah, it's got a good weight. Yeah. yeah but I mean, you could you could drink that and you'd be like, all right. I don't know now let's let's look at the uh, conditions of use here. Conditions right? so, of use. You gotta have at least sixteen beers for you can see. have that, right? I love uh, opening up a uh, skate boot and there's a fortune yeah. cookie inside. Honestly, I kind of wish this is gonna sound a little bit weird. This Canada hockey thing. I kind of wish it would just have the Molson on it. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, go nuts, Canadian hockey. Like, I support you, but you know. I don't know. Yeah, it just feels like this is like an afterthought. Yeah. I know it's probably like a collaboration, and you know they got it on the front of the box and whatnot, but like. Maybe Molson gives them 50 cents or something. Molson's is kind of cool. Yeah. Or maybe have like, diff in different areas, have different teams. So have like a Leafs logo on it yeah. or something. I want to let you know. 
don't chill or freeze this product, all right? Really? Yeah, you can't chill it. No, don't chill it. Don't chill it. Breakage may occur. Right. I don't don't that's not a good it. sign for glasses. I have ass IKEA glasses that I throw in my freezer before I pour beer in them, and those hold up. That gives me worries for this. Hand wash only, too. Don't don't put this in your washer. Hand wash only. Right. Listen to the the thing that goes in the middle. Goes in the middle. All right. I mean, so in terms of value, so we have the support. We have the steam whistle. We have the steam whistle. We have this. Where yeah. does this fall? Where does this fall in the in the rankings of the three? This is definitely valuable. I mean, obviously it's got some like a uniqueness to it, right? Like the boot, the skates, the Molson, uh, but the the boot. You get a boot, right? I'm a boot you get guy. A boot. I th what I think here is the steam whistle. If you're giving it to someone who loves steam whistle, you yeah. give them the whole pack. If you have a few people that, that may have heard of it, maybe you give them a glass each. This, you could give to any guy who likes hockey, yeah. and he's gonna love it. Very simple, easy to give, easy to gift. Steam whistle, best value. Yeah, definitely for the best this value. This has uniqueness, and it's the cheapest one. So that, we're gonna put the support will last. Yeah. Just because it's the worst glass out, yeah. of, the, out of the three, and it's almost expensive as the one that gives you four glasses, which I don't. And six beers and six beers. It just yeah. the values off. Even this, you're getting smaller beers, but you're getting a better glass, a bigger glass. Yeah. So it's like, and you're saving sure. like six bucks. Sapporo is like that one that's caught in the middle. It doesn't know what it needs to be. Really for the price, they should have thrown another glass in there, I think. I don't know why To I be didn't. honest. I like, think, yeah, they kind of, they kind of. I think it's cheap. just a poor name, you know? I think they're just like, oh Maybe. yeah, like we don't care what our customer is, you know? They think they're premium so, beer, but. Yeah. Anyways. I think, you you're know, buying Sapporo, you're driving a Mercedes, right? basically, right? Yeah. But overall, you know, overall, there's a lot of beer going around this Christmas. You know, it's, you know, you get something, you give something, right? Bottom line, if you don't see any of these, if you give one of your loved ones who likes beers a six pack or a 12 pack or a two four, they're going to love you. So yeah. Happy holidays from Unbound Tap. Happy Subscribe. Holidays. Let us know what you've gotten your beer lovers in your life. Whether that be beer or whether it be other things. Let us something know. Something with a door, right? Hopefully something that's cold. This door leads to opportunities.